If we think of a dog guarding a herd of sheep, the first image will be the Border Collie and for some it will be the Australian Shepherd. Due to their similarities, it is sometimes hard to tell which is which. Divided into 10 topics, you will learn everything about the differences of these two dog breeds so you can decide which breed is which and which better suits into your lifestyle and family. And if you find this video useful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel. Number 1. Origin Border Collies originated in North Umbria in England and their name was obtained through this geographical region. The North Umbria region borders between Scotland and England, thereby deriving the first half of their name Border. The word Collie was derived from coal, which is related to their basic color of black and white. They are an extremely versatile breed that possesses the quality of herding, speed, intelligence and eagerness to please. Contrary to their name, the Australian Shepherd is originally from the United States. The dogs are called Australian Shepherds only because they were associated with Basque Shepherds that came from Australia to the United States in the 1800s. This breed was used for herding livestock and working long days in the fields. They would do whatever job that needed to be done. Both breeds are widely loved for their compassionate spirit and willingness to learn. Number 2. Personality Quite simply, the Border Collie is a Dynamo. His personality is characteristically alert, energetic, hardworking and smart. He learns quickly, so quickly that it's sometimes difficult to keep him challenged. They like to be busy and must stay busy or he becomes bored, which can lead to annoying behavior such as barking, digging or chasing cars. He's not a dog to lie quietly on the front porch while you sip a glass of lemonade. He thrives on activity. Bred to be pushed with livestock, Australian Shepherd can and will take the dominant role in the home if you don't give them firm and confident leadership. This makes them a bad choice for first time or timid dog owners that don't know how to raise dogs. Like many herding dogs, Australian Shepherds are by nature loyal to their family but standoffish with strangers. This breed is also very intelligent, delightful, energetic and thrive on being given something to do. Both the Border Collie and Australian Shepherds were bred to run and work all day herding sheep, so you need to make sure that they both get a lot of exercise. Number 3. Appearance Border Collies are athletic, medium sized with an overall look of muscular but nimble worker unspoiled by passing fats. The almond eyes are the focus of an intelligent expression and the Border's famous herding eyes is their breed hallmark. They display style and agility in equal measure with soundness and strength. Its hard, muscular body conveys the impression of effortless movement and endless endurance. The ears are of medium size, sensitive, mobile and set well apart, one or both carried erect or semi-erect. The Australian Shepherd's most identifiable characteristic is the natural or docked bobtail. Their eyes are one of this breed's most commented on feature. Their eyes come in a variety of colors or color combinations and include blue, hazel and all shades of brown. Border Collies can grow up to 23 inches, which is 58 centimeters, and weigh up to 45 pounds, which is 20 kilograms. The Australian Shepherd also stands up to 23 inches, which is 58 centimeters, but weighs up to 65 pounds, which is 29 kilograms. Number 4. Trainability Due to their high intelligence and eagerness to please their master, both breeds are easy to train. They benefit from early socialization and very basic obedience training. Training them requires careful preparation, consistency, patience and it's important that they know who the master is or they will take control. Their intelligence and keen learning ability make repetitive training boring, so always come up with new training ideas, tricks and comments to keep them entertained and happy. They also need mental exercise, which is why you should play games, learn them new tricks and comments and let them experience more stimulation than on your normal walks down the block. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment As both breeds have a similar past and were used as cattle dogs, they still need to exercise and move a lot, which means you need to spend a lot of time with them. They require at least one hour of exercise a day, so they can burn off their energy. Also make sure to exhaust them not only with physical activities, but also mentally challenging tasks to keep them happy. 
If they get bored, they will get destructive and search for things they can use their energy on, such as barking or running around in the house without control. Often, it is best to run them out and then take them for a few brisk walks afterwards. Also, don't keep them alone for too long. They are used to be with their family and will get unhappy and unhealthy if they have to spend too much time on their own. Number 6. Coat The Border Collie comes in two coat varieties, rough or smooth. Both varieties are double coat and weather resistant. The outer coat is either wavy or straight and coarse in texture. The undercoat is dense, short and soft. The coat on the face, front of legs, ears and feet is smooth and short. The color of the coat comes in all colors or combinations of colors and markings. They may be solid, merle, sable, bee color or tree color. Australian Shepherds have a medium length water resistant coat to keep them comfortable in rain and snow. Straight or wavy hair covers the body with short, smooth hair on the head and ears, the front of the forelegs and below the heels. Moderate feathering or a longer fringe of hair covers the back of the forelegs and the bridges on the upper part of the hind legs. The coat can come in several colors such as blue merle, red merle, red, tree color with white, black and tan or only black. You should brush the coat of both breeds at least every week and trim their nails on a regular basis to prevent painful splintering. For extra health care also brush their teeth multiple times per week. Number 7. Best Home Both breeds suit into many homes due to their friendly and playful characteristics. They are affectionate with families and love to play with children of any age. You should just make sure to take care of toddlers because they might be a bit too small for those medium sized breeds. They are also quite friendly to other dogs and pets and with a proper socialization from puppyhood they will learn to love other animals in your house. Border Collies are also very friendly towards strangers and don't give them any reason to be afraid of them whereas the Australian Shepherd has a higher alertness and guarding instincts which makes them also good watchdogs. If you are looking for a guard dog, you should choose the Australian Shepherd. And if you are looking for a family dog that learns to love new family members and also strangers, then you should choose the Border Collie. Number 8. Health Both breeds are generally healthy due to their stable lineage in the past. However, they are also prone to some health issues. Health problems that are common for the Border Collies are hip dysplasia, epilepsy and collie eye anomaly. Issues that Australian Shepherds are prone to are hip dysplasia and elbow dysplasia. When you are grooming your pet, be sure to check for any sores, rashes or irritated skin that may be the result of an infection. As of any dog, it is important to know the condition of a puppy's parents before purchasing. This means seeking out a breeder that can provide health clearances from validated establishments for the parents. The average lifespan of the Border Collies are between 10 to 17 years and the ones of the Australian Shepherds are 12 to 15 years. The age depends on the quality of their diet, regular activity, grooming and much more. Number 9. Costs The cost to buy a puppy varies greatly and depends on many factors such as the breeder's location, the litter size, lineage of the puppy, breed lines and much more. If you are looking for a good quality Border Collie puppy, you can budget an average price of $600. The average price you can expect to budget for an Australian Shepherd with papers is $800. This will be from a breeder that can provide you all the health information you need to know about the puppy and the parents. If you are looking for a Border Collie puppy with show quality and a high quality lineage, you can expect to pay anywhere from $1300 upwards to $4500. For a high quality Australian Shepherd puppy, you can budget anywhere from $1900 to $10,000. Besides these costs, you have to pay between $500 to $1000 a year for wet bills, food, toys, leashes and much more. Number 10. Diet Both dog breeds should do well on a high quality dog food diet, whether commercially manufactured or home prepared with your veterinarian's supervision and approval. Any diet should be appropriate to the dog's age. Puppies, for instance, will eat more because they still grow and are more active. The recommended daily amount of food will be 1.5 to 2.5 cups of high quality dry food a day. The Border Collie will eat less than an Australian Shepherd because he weighs much less. 
Most dogs are prone to overweight and treats are a good positive reinforcement during training, but it is important to watch the calorie consumption of your dog. Also research which human food is good for your dog and find out your dog's individual food requirements in the first months of owning this dog. So which breed wins this battle, the Border Collie or the Australian Shepherd? That's up to you. Tell us in the comments and share your opinion with the community. If you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, check out the descriptions. And if you like our videos, it would make our day if you subscribe to our channel to learn more about dogs in the future.